Hi everyone, today we're going to look at monitoring SNMP data coming into Security Center. This can be useful if you want to monitor the status of servers, network interfaces, or other endpoints. The first example I have is simulating the failure of a network interface on a server. You will see we are monitoring the status of the NIC, system information, system name, and system uptime. I'll go ahead and disable the NIC on the server and in just a moment, you will see the status change from 1 to 2, indicating that the NIC is offline. When the status changes, we will be triggering a threat level. A threat level is a simple way to take many actions from one initiating event. Actions can include sending emails, moving PTZ cameras, generating alarms, or changing the layout of an operator workstation. Now you can see that the status has changed and we're triggering a threat level as shown by the plum purple color around Security Desk. If we make the repair on the NIC and place it back online, we will then see the state change back to 1 or normal and the threat level clears. We can also see that the status changes in the monitoring pane at the top of the screen. When a threat level clears, it can reverse any actions that were taken when it was triggered. Now we'll switch to a dashboard showing a server rack. In this example, we are monitoring inputs that can be triggered from devices that would provide contact closures or opens. You can see in the map that we have inputs placed on the map next to the device they are assigned to. We can also place the SNMP entity from the previous, previous example on the map. When the input changes state, the color of the icon changes from green to red, which gives a visual indicator that it is an alarm. We are also monitoring the activity in the event list on the right side.